Welcome to Fort Laramie Country Church. I'm Pastor Marty Rosted. We're glad you're with us this morning. Next week, we will be doing the Lord's Supper. And if you would like to be part of that, and you're going to do that at home or wherever you are, and you're not able to be here, please have some grape juice or wafers with you. And, and you can do the Lord's Supper with us. You'll just be doing it at home. Uh, last week, if you were here, we talked about the joy of Christ living in us. Today, we're going to continue on the Christ living in us part. I just want to build on that a little bit. But before we get started, let's have a word of prayer. Father, as we look into your word right now, we're just going to again ask to come alive to us. And then you use it in our lives to shape us and mold us into disciples. So as we leave here and we go out into the world, we reflect you and people will come to know you personally as Lord and Savior through your testimony through us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, we all have treasures. We do. Uh, things we hold of great value. It might be a picture you have on the wall of something that reminds you of something special. It may be a trophy you won when you were younger. Uh, and it's a treasure to you. Old coins. People collect old coins and those can be treasures. Memories are absolutely wonderful treasures we store up. Um, my wife, Nancy's got a, a little snuff can that her grandmother owned. It's a treasure to her because it reminds her of her grandmother. You know, treasures are things of great value. They are. In fact, in Luke 12, 34, it says, Wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Paul writes to the church at Corinth, and he's going to tell them about a treasure they have. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 through 12. Well, that'll be our main text today. We'll be bouncing in and out of there. But we have this great treasure. Excuse me. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Christ, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Christ's sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It says, we have a treasure. So what is this thing of great value that Paul's talking about? Well, we have to look back just a little bit. 2 Corinthians 4, 5. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ is Lord, and ourselves as your servant for Christ's sake. Jesus is our treasure. Jesus is the treasure in us. Colossians 1, 27. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this ministry, mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope and glory. It says, but we have a treasure, which is Christ, in jars of clay. The treasure is kept in a jar of clay. Jesus Christ is in us, and we are the clay. We are the jars of clay. When you give your life to Christ, Christ moves in. That makes us the clay pots. When, when we're the clay pots, we are the ones that hold the treasure. You know, clay pots come in many forms. They really do. It comes in many shapes, many sizes, old ones, new ones. It doesn't matter. This is a, a clay pot. You can plant a flower and it has a hole, so as you water it, the water, extra water runs through and out. But that's just a clay pot. And they come in many forms and shapes and, and sizes. And the kind of clay pot you are, is it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because we're not the treasure. The treasure's in us. We're just a container for the treasure. I read an article where it says one out of every $11 spent in the United States is spent on containers. When you think about it, when you get a milk, it comes in a container. When you go to McDonald's, you get a Big Mac, it comes in a container. They all, everything, everything comes in containers. Uh, in fact, this camera that we're using right now came in a container. And it's a portable container. You can 
fold your camera up, put it in this container. But it is a container. But it also, if you look at one out of every $11, that means we put a great value on containers. In fact, the world wants us to think that there's a great value in containers, obviously, but that, that, that we're the, we're the, 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 the containers are of great value, that the containers are the treasure. This is where everybody gets a ribbon. This is where we're all winners. Do more to make you happy. Take care of yourself first. You are the treasure. Uh, thinking we are the treasure is, is like the flower pot saying, look at the flower I grew. No, the flower, the pot just contains the flower that grew. It absolutely doesn't have any value except for what's in the pot. If the container were the important part, you would go to the grocery store and buy a plastic container of ice cream, and when you got home, you would throw the ice cream away. It's not how it works, because the value is what's in that container. The whole purpose of the clay pot is to hold the treasure. Galatians 2.20, For I've been crucified with Christ, and, it, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I no longer live. We are just containers. We are the clay pot. Christ lives in me. The treasure. Christ is a treasure. See, if you look, if you've ever been around these clay pots, they're weak. I guarantee if I drop this, it would break into, into many pieces. It's just a clay pot. It's virtually just made of dirt and water, and then it's fired. It's heated. And that, that, that means it's weak. Verse 7, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show the reason we, we're, we're just a clay pot is to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Our bodies are just like that clay pot. They're weak, they're fragile, they don't last, can be easily broken. The clay pot virtually has no value of its own. The treasure in the pot is what gives The pot value. I've got an envelope here. This envelope is absolutely of no value. I could throw this away right now and wouldn't miss it. I'm going to put a hundred dollar bill in this envelope right now. This is, I'm putting it in there right now. What just gave this envelope value? The hundred dollar bill inside it. Now if I set it down, everybody would want to pick it up because it's of great value because of what's in it. Not because of what it is, but what is in it. That's, what, that's how it works. You know, it's easy to think, and, and this is easy to happen, what we put in, our, in, in these bodies, in this clay pot of ours, is what gives us value. It, it really does. In fact, a lot of times we get thinking of our abilities or, or money or success or our job. Whatever we put in there is going to give us value. We do that. And, and that's... That's what's going to give us value and purpose. And it's really easy to do that. I worked with a guy that was, was extremely, extremely wealthy. And he belonged to a duck club. And just to join the duck club before dues and everything went with, it was $650,000. Well, we flew out there for three days while the plane waited. And, um, and, we, and we hunted. Well, I got to meet people of, of his class, if you will, very wealthy. And, and the more I spent time with them and listened to them, their value was in their, in their, in their money. It's, that's where they found their value. That's why they found their worth. In fact, the more money that they had, the more worth they thought they had. You know, and, and it's real easy to do that. But the treasure gives the clay pot purpose. It really does. That is why God created us. Jesus is the treasure that we have, that he has given us to give us purpose and value. They were finding their purpose and value in as much money as they could put in the clay pot. 
And Christ says, no, that's not how this works. In fact, uh, Psalm 73, 26 in the Living Bible says this says this way. My health fails, my spirit droops, yet God remains. He is the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. That's what gives us value. That's what gives us purpose. That's what gives us strength is Christ in us. Eventually, these, these clay pots are going to be put under pressure. And that's where the value shows up. I guarantee if, if you're put under kind of pressure and you're fail, if, you, if, you're, if your spirit's drooping or, or your health is failing and all you have to draw out of that pot is money, there's no value there. It's not going to help anything. Verse 7. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. See, the clay pot is weak. To show this all-surpassing power comes from God and not from us. We are pressed on every side because we're the clay pot, but not crushed because of the treasure in us. Perplexed because we're the clay pot, but not in despair, because of the value of the treasure in us. Persecuted because we're the clay pot, but not abandoned because of the value of the treasure in us. Struck down because we're a clay pot, but not destroyed because of the value of the treasure in us. The reason all this stuff happens is so the world can see the treasure in us. In fact, 2 Corinthians 4.11 in the Living Bible says it this way, Yes, we are under constant danger to our lives because we serve the Lord. But this gives us constant opportunities to show faith, to show forth the power of Jesus Christ within our dying bodies. All this pressure, now they were being persecuted as, as believers for sure, but all this pressure was an opportunity for the world to see the treasure inside them. We are under great danger because we serve the Lord. The pressure's on. But what an opportunity, what a wonderful opportunity for that treasure to be seen in them. In our weakness of being a clay pot is how the world sees treasure in us. Now, we love treasure hunters. We do. You see it in the TV shows that are on there. You have pickers. Uh, these guys go around and they, and they go to different places and garages and shops where people have all these hidden treasures, if you will, and, and they go through and find them and try to buy them. And, but they're treasures. And the reason we watch it on TV is because they want to show us the treasures they find. Look at this treasure I found. Storage wars. These guys open these storage units and they look in there and then they see who buys it. And then they come back and they go through these these storage units, to show you the treasures inside. We love showing our treasures. We love to treasure hunt. Garage sales. Uh, I can remember going to some garage sales and finding some real treasures, and I got home, and I was excited to show Nancy these treasures. Now, she may not have been as excited to see them as I was to get them and show them to her, but they were still treasures, and I was excited, and, and I wanted to show them, show them to her. In fact, I've got a son-in-law whose uncle gave his dad's couch away. And the people that got it when they were moving it, uh, the bottom kind of broke out of this couch and there were five guns fell out. Uh, uh, four, four of them military and original Hawken rifle. Uh, all of them of great value. And the reason I know that is because somebody found a treasure and they wanted to share it and share the pictures of it. You know, uh, my brother, I can remember, this has been several years back, they were on the coast, he was metal detecting, he found 28 coins. He found wheat head pennies, uh, mercury, uh, mercury head dimes, buffalo nickel, you know, and the reason I know that is he was excited to share it. We like to share our treasures. Now, a lot of times I enjoy metal detecting too, and what we, what we talk about, we're looking for buried treasure. God never intended for us to bury these treasures. He, he, we're not to hide our treasure away so nobody can see. We're to share this treasure. 1 Peter 3.15 says it this way, But in your heart set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you for the reason for the hope that you have. Do this with gentleness and respect. To give an answer to everyone who asks for the reason of the hope that's in you. The hope is that hidden treasure in us. 
And the best way, the best way for people to see that is when we're under pressure, when the clay sh when the clay pot isn't doing so well, but the treasure's shining through. The clay pot may be under a huge amount of pressure, but the treasure is shining. The clay pot may be crushed, but the treasure is shining. This is what this is how the people see the treasure in us. And when somebody sees this treasure, we need to be ready to tell them about the hope in us. It's the treasure in me. I didn't say this, but I like it. Somebody said our body should be so full of Jesus that if a mosquito buys us, bites us, when he flies away, he needs to be singing, there's power in the blood. Friends, those, that's the treasure in us that the world needs to see. And it's seen because we're clay pots and we're weak. We're not the ones to get the glory. Jesus Christ is. Maybe you're here today and you've been trying to fill that clay pot with a lot of things that's not working. Friends, there is a treasure and His name is Jesus Christ. He wants to come in and forgive every sin you've ever done. He wants to come in and give you purpose. He wants to give you reason. He wants to give you life. He wants to give you eternal life. And that, that only happens when you invite Him in. He's not a pushy God. Jesus is never going to push Himself on you. But He says, come. And He's offering Himself. You're the one that has to receive it. But as many as receive it, to them He gave the power to become the sons of God. If you've never done that, you can do that right now. Just say, I'm a sinner, Jesus, and I need you to come into my life and forgive my life and give me purpose and meaning. I want this treasure. Nobody needs to be there. You can do that right now. But if you would like to talk more about it, after this video, there's, you will see our web page and our Facebook page. And there will be a phone number there. Please call. I would love to visit with you more about this. Let's pray. Father, we want the world to see the treasure in us. We want you to just radiate from us in a mighty way. Father, most of all, we're going to ask you to be glorified. And if there's somebody out there today that does not know you personally as Lord and Savior, we're going to ask right now that you give them the boldness to ask you into their life. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.